It is, and um, it, pedophile. Let's just say it. Pedophiles should be prosecuted. That that's what we should do to these types of people. We shouldn't be pandering to them. You know this this will double speak or double think or double talk. It's like news. It, it, it's it's Orwellian, and we're recategorizing all sorts of things and redefining all sorts of things. Be it economic, sexual, gender, all of this stuff. We need to be precise in our language about this. And what, what Avon said was bang on the money. She dug it out and proved that they were lying. So guys, you were lying and you're covering up your foot, your, your footprints because this is a minefield. No one knows what, no one knows what anything means anymore. What we, 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 we're frightened to say anything and the, there's a lack of courage in our politicians. It's, it's been there for a long time, but why is the SNP not listening? Why Why are they doing things that go against, as we've, we've said many times here, the, the values and principles held by the majority of people in Scotland? Not just women, but all of us. We, we don't want this. We, the people, do not want this GRR put into place. And it's been done so, it's been railroaded, and these shysters that are responsible, that, responsible for it need to be held accountable. How did that happen? How was this allowed to happen? And you mentioned uh, my old friend Angus Robertson. He removed the member's power from NEC to determine policy. Mm -hmm. Why did he do that? Well, is it just about power or is it something bigger? Well, we, don't, we know that the SNP have been infiltra infiltrated and that have been, have been, it's not just GRR. They've been way off the boil on independence. There's so many indicators for those, even if you're not paying that much attention. You know, I, you ask these, you put the challenge, obviously I know a lot of people in the SNP still and senior people, and ask the question, and the SNP an excuse confidentially, and I won't tell you who, said, well, you don't know who we're up against. I know exactly who we're up against. This, this, this is the deep state. This, this is the powers that be. This is about money, about power, about control. And it, it's it's the the establishment that, I mean, we've talked about it many times before. And the deep state is prepared to do nigh on anything to, to retain its control and power. And we elect politicians who are supposed to have the courage to stand up for it, stand up for us against these people. And if you're not willing to do it, then get off get off the pot you know you need to resign you need to quit and there's the list is almost apart from the rebels who stood against this they're the they're the ones we need to back the rest of them right now your coat's on a sugarly peg and most of you will have to go because if you lack the courage um then you shouldn't be there to stand up for what we want we need people who represent us so we need to correct an snp and make sure alba do the same that the nec is representative of the people, of the members, of the individuals in Scotland. And, and it's something Eva would know very well, Kui Bono. Who, who benefits from this gender act? Where is the money? Big Pharma. Where is the money coming? It's Big Pharma. Why? Because these kids are hooked on this for all of their lives. Let's, let's, let's show these shysters for who they are. And let's point out, I mean, it, the, 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 the MSPs who went up and clapped and who voted this in are all spineless, chinless cockwombles, my favourite word of late. And they will do exactly what they are told to do, including Coatbridge. Fulton McGregor was a big part of this. He's a, he, he, the guy's got no spine. No, not, not an original thought in his head, and he certainly wouldn't voice it if he did come up with one or was told one. He will do exactly what he's told. And that's the problem in political parties. Mm -hmm. When you allow, allow people who are not principled, people who just do exactly what they're told, malleable, putty, they, there is no, they just have, they lack courage. The, mm -hmm. the courage that is required to reclaim your country from those who have taken it from you is lacking in this people. So why in hell, why on earth are we allowing these people to continue? Let's remove them all. Let's just get rid of them. Because if we don't, we're not going to get independence. And this is why 
for me, independence is number one because that, in a country of Scots and those who work and live here, we know what we want. We want a civilised, decent, fairer society and we'll only get that through independence. This is why I, I, would vote, I, I will support the Tories or anyone who stands against what is wrong because we need to do the right thing and we've got the wrong people in place. We need to change that.